Hey guys, it's me, Vix123, with some Team Litterbug gameplay. The premise for this one quite interesting. I've done it before on the other Call of Duties, but basically, when you kill someone, you have to pick up their gun and then carry on like so. So you kill someone, pick up their gun, kill someone else, pick up their gun, and carry on like so. There were a couple of occasions where I killed someone with their own gun straight away, so obviously I couldn't pick up the gun. I picked up the ammo and carried on. So anyway, that's the gameplay. I hope you enjoy that. This was a bit of a mad rush at the start right here. But anyway, the topic. So I have been looking into 3D printing and I found some really interesting stuff and I thought it'd be a cool commentary topic and I'd share what I've learned with you guys and get your insight on it and that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go straight into it okay first of all what is 3D printing 3D printing is quite simply printing objects in three dimensions just like you or I might print a 2D image onto a piece of paper with the third dimension you're going to start using materials and it's going to rise off the paper or so to speak and create an actual solid object which is you know leads to crazy potential and basically you'd use computer aided design CAD to um, you know put together what you actually want to create and uh, you choose the material the machine instead of having ink in it would have materials and it would start putting together this object for you and you know it's going to really revolutionize the way you know things work I mean people are just going to be able to you know, design a prototype, you know, a model, a case, a little part for a piece of equipment, you know, an appliance and just have it made rather than going out to the store to buy it. And it's just going to change the way things work. You know, this is getting developed and it's probably going to be, you know, a reality in 20 or so years. And I think it's actually going to be one of, you know, the biggest revolutions and one of the biggest changes in how life works out in uh, you know in our lifetimes and you know it's gonna be um, interesting I mean there are already companies that offer to mass produce items that have been designed for a 3d printer and you know if you want to design a product you just design a product rather than having to buy stock and sell stock and you know invest money on getting things started you know deliver stock and all that kind of stuff you can have this company build your product for you and sell as many products as you are able to sell online and you know that means there's no startup cost you know you and a product only gets made if it needs to be made there's an infinite supply of the product it basically you know takes away supply and demand because there is an infinite inventory of your product and there's no middleman so things are going to cost less you know you might not have to buy a component from the store for a pound you know with the mass production and the delivery and for the same you know standard of um, product you might get it you know for significantly less if you just design it yourself and print it off on your home 3D printer. Isn't that strange? Isn't that crazy how things are going to shift? And, you know, this could be good news or it could be bad news. I mean, some companies are going to really thrive off this and, you know, get involved in the new technology and, you know, enhance it and make it work out. And it's going to completely kill off some companies that, you know, focus on manufacturing and distributing products and, you know, even stores, you know, will shops disappear? Will people just buy raw material, stick them in their 3D printer, boom, make your stuff, sorted, done? No need to go out shopping for anything, you know. Um, with 3D printing, they're, um, you know, they're making it so, you know, they're looking into printing food. They're looking into, uh, you know, printing concrete to replace damaged parts of the Great Barrier Reef. You know, all sorts of crazy stuff, you know, just everyday products. And even in the medical field, they're looking at 3D printing blood vessels and organs using your own cell matter. They'll take your own cells, replicate them, and use them to build replacement organs for you. You won't have to wait for an organ donor. You'll just go to the hospital, they'll take some of your cells, boom, stick it in a 3D printer, make you an organ. Here you go. Get that stuck inside you. And you know, how crazy is that? One thing they were, um, one thing I found out about is that actually at the moment they're building up 3D ultrasounds, then printing 3D images of the uh, unborn baby in the womb and just stuff like that. It's crazy just to think how all of this is going to fit into modern life and change modern life as we know it. And this is the interesting point, copyright. How is this going to work? Because for products at the moment, you know, there's patents, there's copyrights, there's all this kind of stuff that stops it being copied and stolen. And, you know, with the way the internet is and with how we've seen music be, you know, illegally pirated and downloaded and taken for free, a product going to be taken for free. Are people going to, you know, illegally download the design for a ring, you know, buy a bit of gold and make the ring themselves for half the price of the uh, store? You know, isn't that just crazy? Just the uh, pure potential of 3D printing. And I thought, you know, when I found out more and more about it, I thought it was fascinating. So I thought I would share that with you guys. And I would seriously love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm sure there'll be some people there who know more than me and will be able to 
share that with me. And sorry, my voice is kind of starting to go now. I've been doing too much commentating and live commentating and stuff. But anyway, that was the video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you know. Check out some other random weapon videos from this outro. And I'm going to go and let my voice recover. Thanks for watching, guys.